con la torta de de la de la de de la de la de de la 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 How's it going, ladies? Selma, hello, Selma. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How's it going, Selma? Hello, Roberto. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to hear you. So, are you Thank ready? You. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Jose, hello, Jose. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to start with our class. And um, well, for today's lesson, we're going to be checking some more things related to um. Well, you know, uh, we're practicing uh, previously about present perfect continuous, right? But we have a new topic for today's lesson, which is um, participle adjectives. So here we have our class objective. Let's see, Jose, could you help us reading that lesson objective, please? Go ahead. Uh, can you see that, by the way? In this class, participants were listened to a conversation where particip participants as adjectives uh, are used, used in context. Good. Okay. Perfect. So, you know, we're going to be checking about, we're going to be talking basically about some additives uh, with PD and IG. But this is going to be really, I think that you already have some knowledge about it. Let's see, Wendy, hello, Wendy, welcome. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Good night. Hi, Wendy. Good evening. Okay, good. So we're going to be checking, uh, we're going to start with this uh, conversation, right? So it says what's playing. So we're going to be listening to this video. So just let me play this at a normal speed. And then we start, okay? Let me see. So just let me check the audio. Uh, by the way, guys, can you see the video? Yes? Can you see that platform? Yes? Just a chair. So yes. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Salma. Okay, so here we go. So I think that was mute. Okay, yeah. Okay. Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? 
The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. In theaters right now, can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. No. That's fine with me. Okay, good. So now we're going to uh, practice this conversation, which is about what's playing. Uh, I think they are trying right to look for the right movie to see. Right? Uh, let's see. We have a conversation between Roger Carvel and, well, that's it, right? Uh, we're going to read the conversation first, and later you're going to uh, be practicing that, right? Okay, so let's start with the first one. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, okay, let me see. Okay. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna be checking some words. Okay, maybe um, let's see. Okay, so here we have the first uh, question. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Remember that we have to raise our intonation at the end of these yes, no questions, right? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Oh, what's playing? Okay, what's playing? Remember, you don't have to raise your intonation, so we have a falling intonation at the end of these questions. Only intonation, okay. And this one, it's a racing intonation at the end of the question, right? The racing, okay, racing intonation. Okay. So I'll repeat uh, these again. Do you want to see a movie tonight? What's playing? What's playing? Okay, good. Let's see. Um, how about the new? Okay. Oh, we commonly mispronounce this. How about, how about, okay. How about the new James Bond film? 
How about the new James Bond film? Oh, the new James Bond. Okay. Film. I don't know if you like the movies. Okay, I hear it's uh okay here it's really exciting. Exciting. So it means fascinating, right? Exciting. Actually, the last one was born in. Actually. Okay, no more. I don't say actually. <laughs> actually. Actually. Uh what's the meaning by the way for this word, guys? Do you know? Actually, what is the what is it? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see that in context. Uh, how about the new James Bond film? Let's see, let me check. So uh, I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. So what do you think? Uh, any other opinion? Actually, what, what is it? Maybe for lo general. Could be, yeah. So I normally use it that way, okay? This one, actually. Okay, actually the last one was Barbara, right? What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? New, how do I pronounce it? Okay, so you can say new or new, right? New, new. Um, let's see, I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? I'm interested. Um, interested. Okay, don't forget when you have a, uh, what? This is ED. Okay, the interested. I'm interested in the new or new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, it looks good. Okay. That's fine with me. She's so wonderful. She's, okay, she's, she's a wonderful actress. Oh, and here you're gonna pronounce this as Z, okay, she's. She's a wonderful actress, actress. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, so now we're gonna start practicing. Let me see. I uh, need some volunteers. Maybe some of you. Oh, I'm gonna pick some of you. <laughs> no volunteers. Uh, Edgar. Edgar, you here? Hello, Edgar. Fernando. Uh, you driving? Okay. Um, Elisa. Elisa Arely Lopez. Hello, Elisa. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I am fine. Great. Let's see. Oh, uh, we're looking for a partner. Just hold on. Um, Jose. Hello, Jose. Hello. You ready, guys? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, maybe Jose, you may start. Okay. So let me guess. With uh, mm -hmm. so you're Roger, yeah. Roger, okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Uh, Alisa, activate your microphone. Alisa, Alisa, hello, Alisa. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see what happened with her. Okay, uh, maybe Karen. Oh, yeah, Karen Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, please read the uh, read Karen's part. Karen. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Mm, maybe. What time? How about how? About the new James Bond film, film, I hear this a really uh, exciting, exciting. 
Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie Basset? Basset? Basset teacher? Based. Based. Based on a St Stephen King's new novel? No, but, uh, novel. I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Hallenberry movie. It's look, it's look good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. Okay. Good job, guys. Um, let's see. Just let's check some words. Uh, horror, horror movies, horror, horror movies. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. Look, look. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so try to okay. take your time mm -hmm. take your time to pronounce them and then you you can do it like in a, okay. at a normal speed okay mm -hmm. okay um, good job guys thanks uh let me see I, I think there was another word that we need to check maybe interested i'm interested okay in the new holly river movie okay let's see um, okay so next is uh, maria santos Hello, Maria Santos. Maria, hello, Maria. Back to your microphone. Okay, Michelle, you here? Hi, teacher, yes. Okay, perfect. Let me see where is Maria. Maria, you here, Maria? Maria Santos, Lopez, Lopez. So leave me a text. Neftali. Neftali Antonio, go ahead. Okay. With who? Uh Neftali, please be uh Roger. Uh, mm -hmm. Roger first or me? You, you start. Okay. Do so you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe. What's playing? How about the new the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the mo What about the new the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halberry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful directress. Mm -hmm. Okay, good guys. Actress. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, so we continue with uh, maybe. Let me see. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Natalie. Oscar, Oscar Alexander, Santana, and Roberto. Roberto, please. Okay. Uh... I am Roger, right? Uh, okay. Uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Okay, so Robert, let me see. Oh, Oscar. So let me look for somebody else, okay? Okay. Sara. Oh, okay, let me see who's me. Yeah, Sara, I did. Yep, go. Okay. Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear this is a really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King, the new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well... What do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Holly Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Cool. Thanks, guys. Let's see. Um, Selma and Wendy. OK. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Wendy, hello, Wendy. Wendy, Melina. Hello. Hello. Okay. Go ahead, ladies. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Harbury movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, thanks, ladies. And let me see if somebody. Okay, so we have Jenny. Just hold on. Give me a couple of seconds, Jenny. And then you, 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 you participate. Okay. Uh, look at this. Um, maybe we need to check our uh this one. Where Roger says, "What about the movie based, based." What about the movie based on Stephen King's the new novel? Or what about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? Based, based, based. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, Jenny, you're ready? And I need somebody else. Okay, activate your microphones. Volunteer and I need a volunteer. Okay, Jenny, we have Jenny and I need somebody else. Elisa, Arely, okay, okay, Arely, go ahead. <clears throat> what do you want to see a movie tonight? Do you Maybe want to see a movie? Okay. Uh, how yeah. about the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, that do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halberry movie. It look good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect, ladies. And I'm gonna emphasize some of the words. Uh, maybe uh, this one I was mentioned this mentioning this before. Based, like a T at the end. Based. Um, what about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? Novel, something like this. Novel, novel, novel. I don't know, his books are usually, usually, okay? Usually, usually fascinating, fascinating. Uh, his books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested, I'm interested, or I'm interested, interested, okay? Interested in the new Hollywood movie. Okay, thanks guys. So now we'll continue with the second part and we're gonna listen to the second part of our conversation. So now, uh, please, I suggest you to take some notes, try to take some notes and at the end, we're gonna be answering uh, the questions. What? Okay. Here we go. Hey, she's a wonderful actress. Mm -hmm. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was <laughs> just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. <laughs> Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. 
It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Oh, no. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? Okay, guys. Uh, tell me what happened. What happens next? What do you think? What happened next? She started to the Twitter to uh -huh. answer um the no. How se dice horario, teacher? Uh, schedule. Schedule. To ask for the time when the movie played. Uh huh. And the uh -huh, the time to uh. The movies play and uh, the in the theater answer uh, the 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 movie has closed the last night. <laughs> yes, right. Uh -huh. The movie closed last night, and so what do they decide to do later on? Uh, we watch TV tonight. Oh, they are going to watch TV. Yeah, they decide to. Is the man agree with her? Yes or no? What does the man said? What does he said? Is it okay? Uh, he, he say okay, but I think they feel feel sad because don't don't can watch the movie. Uh -huh, because he won't he won't watch he won't movie. watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. Excellent, guys. Um, well, you know, that's good. Listening is, is, is just good. We're going to continue with the second part. Uh, and uh, look at this. By the end of this class, uh, participants will be uh, will comprehend how to use present participles and past participles as adjectives. Oh. So we have seen these um, as verbs, but now we're going to be checking them as adjectives. So let's see uh, what's going on in here, okay? Particles as adjectives, okay? Look at it. Um, and we're gonna learn when to use each of them. Let me see, it lasts like just 40, 24 seconds. Okay. Let's see if it's playing or not. Things no, books are fascinating. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. Hold on. That was weird, you know. <laughs> that was very strange. Oh well, that, that, that's too much. Um, I'm gonna start with these, right? Just to <laughs> save some time. Look at this. Um, adjectives, uh, ed and ing forms. Uh, these are called participle adjectives. Uh, they are, let's say, verbs in some occasions, but we're going to be checking how to use them as adjectives. Uh, for example, look at look at this. Many adjectives can end in ed or ing. For example, look at this. For example. I'm excited about tomorrow. This is an exciting book. Okay, so we have adjectives with ed and with ing. Is it a verb? No, it is not a verb. So when we talk about participle adjectives, we're talking about adjectives, indeed, adjectives. Um, and we're gonna learn when to use uh, adjectives with ed or ing. So what is the difference? 
Look at this. When the adjective ends in ed, it describes the feeling of something. For example, I'm interested in modern art. I was I was really bored yesterday. So when you add uh, this ed, uh, this is your personal feeling. So you describe the feeling of something. Uh, so tell me, what are you interested in? For example, I'm interested. I'm interested in, uh, well, maybe computers. How about you? What are you interested in, guys? Let's see, um, Edgar, how about you, Edgar? What are you interested in? Mm, oh, let's see, Edgar, it's busy. Elisa, uh, I'm interested in computers. How about you? So you can mention something else, you know, uh, math, I don't know if you like math, uh, maybe something else I'm interested in, a physical education, <laughs> I'm interested in, anything else? I'm interested in handcraft. Okay, handcraft, yes, good. What about, let's see, uh, Jose, how about you? What are you, what are you interested in? Jose. So just add the thing that you're interested in. I'm interested in, Jose. Activate your microphone, you're mute. Either way. Jose Alvarenga. Hello? Ah, oh, okay, good. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, complete the sentence. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm interested in mm, uh -huh. yeah Jose please I have problem with the can you see this Jose here. No, no. Can you see your the screen? Puedes ver la pantalla, eh, Jose? No. Okay. So let's see. Um, maybe while he creates his sentence, uh, Karen. So could you share with us what are you into? Or what are you interested in? Karen Elizabeth. Okay, I'm interested in handcraft. Okay, so you were the one. Karen, Yvette, how about you, Karen? Tell me, Karen. Karen, Alyssa. Yeah, I'm interested in uh, other studies. Mm, for example, uh, yeah, it could be, uh, for example, biology, I don't know, uh, biology. Okay. English, French, I don't know, something that you are interested in, right? I'm interested in reading books about biology <laughs> or something like that. Mm -hmm. like chemistry? chemistry. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. Okay, nice. Uh, Marlene, how about you, Marlene? Tell us, share with us, please. Back to your microphone. You're mute. Oh, yeah, Madeline. I can hear you, Marlene. No, no, I don't know why. Marlene? No. No, no, let's watch. Check your microphone. Okay, let's see. How about, let me see. Oh, Neftali, help us. What are you interested in? I insert I interested in, in English. In English, yes. I'm interested in English. Interested, interested. In interested English. in English. Okay. Um, how about you, Sara? Sarita? Activate your microphone, Sarita. Uh, 
Hello, hello, Sarita. Hello, you there? Hello. I know what I can hear you. No sé por qué no le escucho, Sara. I'm interested in watching. Aha. In? Okay, maybe you can write it because I couldn't hear you very well. I don't know what's going on. Jenny, how about you, Jenny? Tell us. I'm interested in workout. Okay, in working out. Okay, and working, working out. out. Okay, yeah, workout. Uh, Selma, how about you, Selma? I am interested in to exercise. Okay, and to exercise. Okay, good. Let's see. So we continue with uh second part. Um. We're going to be checking uh, what is the difference between these two. Remember, when you have a participle uh, in ED, it describes the feeling of something, okay? For example, I'm interested in modern art. So this is my feeling, interested in something else. So this is my personal feeling. And uh, when the adjective ends in ing, it describes, okay, second part, the feeling given by something, for example, Modern art is interesting. So I'm talking about that um, modern art can feel, but it makes me feel interested. Okay, this is el efecto que tiene eso en mí. Okay, uh, it describes the feeling given by something. Yes. Okay, modern art is interesting. Okay, the news was shocking. The news gives us a shocking feeling. Okay, so it was like surprising or something like that. So you were in shock, right? So we tend to use that in Spanish. Okay, so now let's compare. So let's try to understand with some more examples. He's bored. He has nothing to do. He's not enjoying himself. This describes his feeling, okay? He's bored. He's boring, he's not an interesting person. This describes the feeling he gives to other people. Okay, let's see, any questions so far? Okay, so just a short review. Remember, uh, ED describes the feeling of something, and ING describes the feeling given by something. Okay, for example, if I tell you, you are interesting, okay? So this is how you make me feel. But if I tell you're bored, I'm saying that you are bored, yes? Oh, that is how real, right? So there's a difference between that two ideas. Let's see. So we're going to be checking some uh, common ED and ING adjectives. And um, yes, let's check this. For example, um, let's uh, read this. Uh, Karen, could you help us read in the first uh, beside ED adjective, annoy? So we start with annoy, then you continue with amazed, confused, disappointed, and surprised. So could you read that, please? Uh, let's see, Karen Elizabeth, read the examples. And I, I don't get enough of it. It's yeah. me. Okay, uh, hold on a second. What's uh, the adjective here, the Paris boy? Uh-huh, guys? Annoyed. Annoyed. Okay, continue. Annoyed. Okay. Um, amazed by heroes. Artist calling. Okay. Confused. I asked the teacher, but we were still confused. Mm -hmm. So, which is the adjective here? Yeah. Guys? Confused. Confused, right? So, so you feel confused about something. Uh, okay. Disappointed. They were this. 
disappoint the weather was not good. Okay, which is the adjective describing the situation. Disappointed. Disappointed, right? Okay, and the last one. Surprised. I was surprised to see you. Okay, so I was surprised. The TA, Jenny, please, could you help us with the ING examples? Uh, could you help me please with the pronunciation? Annoying. Uh, Annoying. Annoying. Noise, noisely. Annoying. Mobile phones can be. Let me tell me. Can mm -hmm. be annoying. Okay, so noisy mobile phones can be annoying. Yeah, Michelle. Michelle? Teacher, what is the meaning of the annoy or annoying? Molesto. Molesto. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So the difference is a between the ET or ING form. So this is the difference. Look at this. La diferencia que vamos a notar nosotros solamente va a ser en si es ED o ING. Entonces, ¿Por qué? Porque acá, uh, when you add a participle ending in ED, a participle adjective ending in ED, so you express or you say how people feel, okay? So can you see this? And ING describe the people or things that cause the feeling. Okay. Let's see. So let's let's go back to this. Uh could you uh continue, please? Jenny, amazing. Amazing. The concert last night was amazing. Confusing. The textbook is really confusing. Mm -hmm. Disappointing, as yes, disappointing. Disappointing, yeah. Yesterday's weather was disappointing. Disappointing. Mm -hmm. Surprising. I heard some surprising news. Okay, surprising. Surprise. Uh huh. I heard some surprising news. Okay, so now let's read that all together. I didn't get annoyed easily. I'm amazed by her artistic talent. I asked the teacher, but we were still confused. They were, <laughs> okay, that, that's funny. They were disappointed. Um, the weather was not good. I was surprised to see you. Oh, yes, uh, Jennifer, I think. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Michelle, okay. Uh, Karen, Karen, I think Karen got a question. I have a question. What is the pronunciation, the adjective disappoint or disappointing? Disappointed. Disappointing. Uh -huh. It, it, it. This, it, uh -huh. it. The S, R, cuando ustedes tienen un verbo que te vamos a hacer su forma en pasado y termina en T o en D, el final va a ser con I. D, ese E D se pronuncia como ir, disappointed, disappointed. Ah. Ajá, hay que agregarle ahí la, el sonido si lo digo, no, disappointed. Um, disappointed, interested, interested, could be another one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And I was surprised to see you. Yeah. Uh, so now let's continue with the second side. Noisy mobile phones uh, can be annoying. The concert last night, <laughs> okay, it was night, right? Night was amazing, amazing. This textbook is really confusing, okay? Yesterday weather was disappointing. And surprising, I hear some surprising news. So back again, I repeat. So with ED, you express uh, okay, to say how people feel. So your personal opinion. That's it. Let's go back here. Okay, here. Look at this. I'm interested in modern art. This is my personal feeling. So it describes the feeling of something. And for the ING to describe the people, things that cause the feeling. So let's see. Um, We're going to be checking. Um. Okay, we're gonna be checking some um 
some examples. Max is interested in sports. Sports are interesting, right? So that's what something makes you feel. My sister. So what do you think about this example? Number one, my sister had Exciting. exciting 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 oh okay an exciting day she, she won the contest mm. okay about number two raul raul mm, never raul. feels disgusted disgusted okay this no. disgusted junk disgusted food. eating all that junk food Yes, right. I love hamburger. Well, <laughs> I love hamburgers. <laughs> and it's a Papa John's. It's my favorite. But I can't eat it. <laughs> That's not good. Let's see. Uh, three. School lunches can sometimes be? Disgust. 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 Disgusting. 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 Okay. Mike yeah. fails. How does Mike fails? Frustrated. Frustrated. Computer frustrated. Okay, frustrated. Anytime he got his computer box. Okay, so it has uh, like some errors, right? Some box. Uh, number five. Some yes. have an exhausted. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. Exhausted or exhausting? Exhausted, exhausting, I guess. Exhausted. Uh-huh. He had an exhausting day. Daniel. Worried. Worried. Worried after a meeting with his boss. And number seven. Tired. So tired. After tired. work. Okay. About number eight, we were disappointed. 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 Okay, disappointed. After two weeks uh, under the rain during our holidays. Number nine. All feels embarrassed. Embarrasses. Embarrassing. Okay, embarrassed. How, how do you pronounce with ED teacher? Embarrassed. Uh -huh. you know when you uh -huh, the thing is that when you have a verb like uh, ending in uh voiceless sound it sounds like uh, t yeah t embarrassed embarrassed uh, so Paul feels embarrassed when he's in front of the class and the last one Jane I think that's the last one you know it's oh, very that film was yeah. so what do you think mm. it's scared it's scared or scary 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 okay sorry guys okay this is uh do you want to change anything is this your final decision yeah <laughs> yes so, okay, so let's see. <laughs> Maybe we got some. <laughs> okay, well done, guys. So you got it. Hey, wait, nine. Ah, okay. So Mike feels frustrating anytime his computer uh box. Okay, so that was the only one that we feel. But good job. So I don't. Well, so we got some. Most of them. Okay, let me see. We still have some minutes and we're gonna be uh practicing. Yeah, it's hot, right? You know, Karen, it's it's really hot. <laughs> okay. Um we're gonna be checking these uh questions and uh well we have uh participles using ED. So we have to answer using participles. Uh for example, what kinds of TV programs are you interested in? Uh, I'm interested. Let me see. Think about yours. I'm interested in um. Let's see, cooking shows, maybe or cooking TV programs. How about you? Nice. Tell me. Mm, news program. 
News, okay, news, the news. Uh, Alyssa? Cartoon movie. Cartoons, okay, cartoon programs. Sorry? Um, in watching series. Serious? Okay, well, that's serious. Uh, any problem like cooking, like gardening, I don't know, like gardening or let's see, what else? Fashion, fashion show. Fashion, yeah, fashion TV programs. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if you have seen some, let's say, dark jets. shows. Uh huh. Okay, magic shows or things like that. Magic mm. shows. Uh huh. Uh, any anybody else? So, what are you interested in? Open your microphones. Open your mic. Maria Santos, Wendy, Selma. That is the story. Okay, history or stories? History, history or stories? Historia or historias? <laughs> All of them, fairy tales, or fairy tales. Okay, it's a story. Teacher, but what is the difference about history? Mm -hmm. History story. is when you talk about past events. Mm -hmm. And stories can be any story. I can tell you a story when I met a friend, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is about past, past events, like, you know, that were past events. Okay, um, let's see. So we continue with the second question. When was the last time you were embarrassed? Okay. The last time. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I was embarrassed. Okay. Was when I, let me think about it. Okay, when I fall in front of my girls. <laughs> The last time I was embarrassed, I was embarrassed was when I waiting for a bus and the bus don't stop. It didn't stop. <laughs> okay. Didn't yeah. Stop. Uh, it, it has happened to me. <laughs> it has happened to me, and that I too. hate this moment. Yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really bad. <laughs> it's too sad. <laughs> Let's see. Anybody else? I look at what. Anybody else? So the last time I was embarrassed, like I could put the pen and look at myself. And the last time I was embarrassed was when, okay, Salma, Wendy, Naphtali, Jenny, think about it. Don't, don't, don't be shy. You know, we won't laugh. None of us are We're going to laugh together. <laughs> Vamos a reír juntos. Uh, Arely, how about you, Arely? <laughs> Think about it. Jen, you have one special moment that you want to share? I have much. <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> you have a lot of moments. <laughs> well... Marlene and me. <laughs> okay. And send stickers <laughs> in <the> WhatsApp okay. <laughs> in the last model. Okay. The teachers only, only watch the Mar Marlene and me uh, loud uh, all the class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah. I have filled that too okay <laughs> let's see well you know we uh, i as a teacher i love when you send those stick well, yeah these stickers <laughs> let's see um how about you elisa i see you're laughing so we need to get some story from you elisa Villoso. <laughs> any moment any special embarrassed moment no uh, activate your microphone. Activate your mute. Activate your microphone. Uh, maybe when I was about six years old. Okay. Uh, my mom. Uh, when I think it 
punished. It's okay to say. Uh, she punished me uh, in front of everyone. Okay. <laughs> this is good. Why? What do you do? Uh, I don't remember. Um, I think you're saving a good start. You're a hiding a good start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, yes, let me see. I did some things like yeah, I did some things when I was six too. Okay, um, Neftali. So do you want to share with us? So what was uh, one of the embarrassed moments? The last time you were embarrassed? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember when was the, the last time it was embarrassed. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember for being honest. Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Only I, I don't remember when was the last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's see. Um, let me see. I think we have some more. Well, we'll continue with uh, another question. Let me see. Maybe. Okay. What makes you feel relaxed? Uh, well, in my case, what makes me feel relaxed? Um, it's um, it's when uh, let me see when I when I sleep or watch a movie. Uh, I'll say no. Yeah. Easy. So what makes me feel uh, relaxed is when I sleep. So how about you guys? So what makes you feel relaxed? And Sarita, we we'll start with Sarita. So you're our first victim, Sarita. Um, what makes me feel relaxed is when I take a shower. Oh, yeah. That's a, oh, me too. Yeah, you know, it's too hot nowadays. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. So you, you should take a shower before going to bed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... And uh, Nathalie, how about you, Nathalie? Uh, well, for me, for me, uh, I feel relaxed when I feel so good of my body. For example, when you don't feel any pain of your body, when you be healthy, and for this way, you can, I feel relaxed. When I don't feel any any pain about on my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some people some people can be relaxed when listen to music or could be uh, when they go to 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 the cinema or I don't know play soccer with with the with other people could be or play with their their children could be. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in my case, when I don't feel pain on my body, when I feel healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think so. That's I think that's one of the most important things, right? Feeling like without any pain. Yeah, but sometimes oh, when we get to the thirties, <laughs> so we feel like uh, I don't know, I don't know, crujiente. <laughs> uh, we have one more opinion on the alien. Uh huh. Activate your microphone. In my case, uh, I feel relaxed when I go to the shore. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's a good uh, activity you can do to feel relaxed. Today. So you're really stressed, right? You know. And Jenny, how about you, Jenny? I feel relaxed when I clean my house in the weekends. <laughs> you, are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that you clean your house? <laughs> yes, we feel relaxed Only when oh. sending some stickers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. You know, you have to laugh. Yeah, you have to. We all have to laugh if you want to relax. Yeah, it's not good being like angry or so somehow. Well, that, that way. Okay. Any, any, any way that like that. 
Let's see. Um, how about you? Uh, so I know now Janie and Marlene, they love sending stickers. So check that. The group. <laughs> Elisa, how about you, Elisa? <laughs> Activate your microphone. Active Arely, your microphone. It's mute. Is he in number two? Uh huh. So, what makes you feel relaxed? I don't know. Probably eating healthy. No. Watching TV. I think. I guess. Right. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna pass the attendance list, and then you're free to go and relax. So whatever you want, right? Sending stickers, taking a shower. Oh, this is not your list. This is too. Okay, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez, you here? Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Not here, Elisa Arely Lopez. Present. Okay. Giselle Maria Hernandez Torres. Giselle. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. José Lino Alvarenga Gómez. Present. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thanks, Karen. Um, Karen Yvette Villanueva. Yeah. Okay, good. So we have the guards. Maria Santos Lopez. Present teacher. Thanks. Marlene, when I remember uh, Karen's name, I think about the cat, you know, the mama. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Marlene Marlene. Ah, Marlene. Marlene Elizabeth Bye, Bueno, no la mencioné. Marlene. Okay, and Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzmán. Nestalí Antonio Mejía Miranda. I'm here. Okay, Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. Uh, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks, Roberto. Sara Elisa Villoso. Present. Thanks, Selma Yamilet Peña. Present. Thanks, Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. Thanks, and Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present. Okay, ladies, well, that's all for today, ladies and boys. Uh, I'll see you in our next class. That's going to be tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night, bye -bye. teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.